What's up? Hey, dude. Pretty good win. Pretty pretty yeah, clean yeah. last set. No, no kais. You know? No kais. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what we need. <laughs> it's the path to victory. It's kais. Go away. Oh man. Oh man. Yep. Uh, I was pre-johning uh, before the tournament too. I saw your thumbs, right? Yeah, they they have big painful bruises and they're a little numb. And uh, I was still able to do the thing. Yeah. You if it, as soon as I fucking bitch about something, that's when I win. Now I look like an <laughs> idiot. Everyone, everyone in group chat's gonna make fun of me. Yeah, I mean. You did really well in that, uh, like, first set of grand finals, dumb close. Yeah, it's just, I kept dropping inputs both sets. Like, it was, ugh, it was bad. I know, I noticed. It was crazy, actually. Like, I just kept, like, instead of, like, jumping and going, I would, like, do, like, grounded teleports just, like, to the side instead of doing horizontal teleports to, like, in the air to follow up with a forward air whenever I'd read his tech away. And then it was just, like, I would... I would try to do like jump up smash really quickly, uh, jump up air, but I would get up smash, like I would accidentally jump cancel. There was a lot of stuff I was fucking up. Yeah, there was one time that was really prolific. Um, it was like, I don't think it was the last set of grand, uh, the first set. It was, um, there was a time like on, on the Smashville platform where if you just wave dash back and forward smash, you would have killed them, but you air dodged by accident. Yeah, I mean, thank you. Yeah. There, there was just like a lot of dumb little things that I fucked up. Well, I mean, like, either way, like Edgeguard and Gihei's recovery is like, it's like awkward because if you time anything wrong, you take like 25, 30 damage from all the little hits. But like, I don't know. I was complaining to him. I was like, it's fucking bullshit because you kill me at 65. It's such a dumb Because like, like I, I always, I, today was the most that I've ever guessed right on where he's going to throw me for the 65% or whatever, like anywhere from 50 to 70. Uh, Cargo to punch is guaranteed. Well, not guaranteed. It's 50-50. Yeah, it's, but it's but I oh, But it's usually guaranteed <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I always guess wrong. Um, today was the most I guessed right about on it, and I was complaining. He was like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, you guys just don't look happy the matchup. I mean, sometimes we have fun. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I always love playing against him because, like, I mean, today a little less because he played a little bit more bitch today. <laughs> but usually he plays, like... Usually we both play pretty aggressive, so like it's it's fun. Like that's why I like playing against him. But um, also it's just like we both just beat the piss out of each other. Although I'm starting to di his throws better, uh, even like at low percent where he would usually go uh, cargo, four throw back throw whatever the fuck, nair re grab. Like I'm starting to di that better. Which is good. Yeah, like game two. Kevin <laughs> says fuck you too. Yeah, dude. Donkey Kong is just as just as gay, dude. That one. Donkey no, like honestly, all right. So in general, even though I complain. I think Donkey Kong is a bad character. Like, I feel like I'm the only one in the PM community that thinks he has dash dance, gra like dash dance grab, and down tilt. That's his neutral. He has no, I mean, in like back air, but you could crouch cancel that. Super and uh, easy. raw punch. <laughs> I got hit by so many of yeah, those. No. I suck. We kept count. <laughs> yeah, uh, I got. I'm gonna. I'm not letting you do that to me next time. I caught on to your like every game like in our previous side. Like you just run up down tilt at the very start, so I just started running up to you, and then you stopped doing that, and I was like. That was bullshit. Yeah, dude, that punch the at reverse, ledge. The shoulder punch was sick. It was just sick. fucking. Oh, I was so, <laughs> so mad. Sick. He kept me saying he shouldn't have lost. I think he should have. I think um. <laughs> Alright, but there was a. Um, but one thing. <laughs> My sick it winners finals game four. My sick three stock comeback. Mmm, delicious. Dude, that was a good game. Nah, that, that game was fine. Nothing wrong with that game. All right, Dom, talk to yes. me because yes. they can't yeah, hear get, Kevin. Get out of here. Get out of it's here. my interview. All right. <laughs> this isn't about me. This isn't about me. This is about how much you suck. Got him. Also, also there is like a golden rule that Kevin can't beat me two sets in a row. It's never happened yet. So then, like, the no, fact that you... Plot armor. No, it's not true. It, it is true. I've, I've literally gone back and checked before. When one time, Last time we argued about, like, sets, like, months ago, I went back and checked, and I've made sure that you can never beat me two sets in a row. So... No, I'm up 3-2. Yeah. So I'm up 3-2 this year. But, like, because he beat me... Last week, he beat me... I, I beat him in doubles. Like, me and Tehran won doubles. And then he beat me in singles. So then I was like, all right, so I'm going to beat Kevney this week. And then I beat him in winners, and I was like, lit. And then we had to play again in grands, and he beat me in the first set, and I was like, I can't let the, I can't let it happen. I can't let him beat you two sets in a row. So I won.
Down tilt's lit. I hit your down tilt. Alright, alright. All right. Go away, go away, go away. Talk about it after. <laughs> Denny's, maybe. Um, yeah, I'll go. I'm, I'm gonna go to Denny's. Let's fucking go, dude. I wasn't gonna go, but I'm gonna go. Yeah, I think we're going to the whole Chief car. Um, but either way, uh, I was saying game two, uh, the first set. You guys were you guys were just like baiting each other real hard, but I was wondering who's gonna take the lead and just do it more <laughs> and do it better. And it turned like it. It was definitely you. Like it's tough it because more. like. I mean, we know each other's habits so well, so now it's just like, who plays around what habit, who plays around to play around, it's, it's just, our sets are like, they're just so, because we play all the fucking time now, and like, if I have a lead, like, I can lose it at 60 at any point, so it's tough, and I mean, I could combo to him to fucking oblivion, but like, it's just sometimes finishing up the kill is like, a little bit harder than it should be, because I suck. Sometimes I fucking, I combo him into down B, and I send him back, it gets the reverse hit, because fuck my life, <laughs> but... I was, um, there was one combo where you went to go finish it with, um, what's it called? Um, confusion, was it? Confu disable. The down B is disable. Yeah, disable. You were going to finish it with disable, and I'm like, and I, I don't know what happened, but it like it just went right under him. <laughs> I think I remember. Was it on Smash Bros? Yeah, it was on Smash Bros. It was like, yeah, went was right like, under him, and I was like. Because like, <sighs> sometimes I like I hit down too early, and the, I stop floating up, and it just makes me really sad. But, but what I've noticed, too, is every time you like, you kick it into high gear. Like sometimes it'll be like for a full, like full, full game. But there are certain times where you just like, pfft, like kick it up, and it's always just a combo video. Just oh like yeah, that, right I there. Mean, every every set versus him, like I get insane combo footage. Like game one of like uh, winners finals, just the very first stock I just zero death to get out of. <laughs> I mean today, like, like I played out of my mind today. Like even because I mean last time I played against Shadowhawk, he actually beat me. But today I played him, I stomped him. And like I got some sick stuff. Then I played against Chief Cherry, and I four stocked his Wario like badly. Went the Ike, like, right? Yeah. Then he went Ike, and I, I still. I mean, his Ike took a stock, but I mean, like I've never beaten Cherry that badly. And like the, ugh, I wish he was on stream because I got this one combo on my second stock, or on his second stock that was just so beautiful. The Mewtwo Discord would have been proud. <laughs> Mewtwo's dope, man. I've been I've been playing him, playing him a little bit. Yeah, Mewtwo's cool as fuck. That's the thing. That's like I, I like the sounds because they're just so fucking cool. Like, you don't need to push too many buttons to do cool. Sometimes you do. When you start doing, like, hover cancel stuff, and then, like, you pop them up a little bit, hit them again in the air, and then you you full hop, nair, and then drag them down, hover cancel the nair, and up tilt. It's, like, there are, like, some insane, like, technical combos with him that are, like, so much fun and so cool. And I think, like, I think, like, mid-height, like, drag down nair into up tilt yeah, is one of my dude. favorites. There was... I don't know how I can't I can't understand how to do it, but <laughs> when you use the momentum of the double jump to just nair all the way up, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like um, you did it on Dreamland, where you just we were like you were like almost under the stage and you just nared up, you like hit ledge in like. Oh level. yeah, there's um after a certain point in your double jump, if you like do an aerial, it gives you a boost. So like and like I, I'm just so used, I almost almost every single time that I'm recovering and I double jump, almost every single time I will. Use Shadow Ball to increase the jump, and then um, and then cancel the Shadow Ball. So I'm just really high fucking. It. You can teleport wherever they're not. But I mean, sometimes I and like don't get me wrong. Like if going really low with Mewtwo and then doing like the boosted double jump with like a Nair or something, it's bad. Like because you're Mewtwo under the stage is terrible. Yeah. Like you should never survive there. But sometimes it like catches people. It's like one out of ten times it'll catch people. Other times I just die. <laughs> I'm like, they'll never expect this, and it's just like, it doesn't matter if they expect it, because it's bad. <laughs> but, but you, were, you were saying that you're up on Kevney now. It was It's actually a really yeah. close season for you guys, huh? Yeah, it's it's 3-2 in my favor. Last season was, like, kind of brutal. Mm -hmm. Like, after a while, I just really started to pull ahead of them. And, like, like the end of, not last season, but the end of the season before that, like, I had a streak on him. And then I carried a little bit into last season, and then, like, every once in a while, he would take his one. And then, you know, this season, it's been back and forth actually so i gotta stop letting that happen yeah i mean with that dominating second set dude the second set, uh, what was it three one three oh no he i think he, did he oh it was three oh three oh lit i'm yeah. good i was so sad because i looked at the pools and i saw that he was seated above me and I, like i like not to say that he doesn't deserve it it's just i didn't want to play against daddy's milk because like i hate falco and i hate playing against him it's so yeah. lame but like I was just like, oh. He does this thing, dude. It tilts me every time, and it tilts you every time. And he, like, I'm a floaty. He's not supposed to be that good at comboing me, but, like, my DI is that bad that he could do it. But, like, I ended up beating him, so. How, how like, 
I want you you understand this. When he quits out, he, like you start a match, do your counter picks. He quits out, changes his Falco color, and goes back into the match. He does that to be annoying. I know he does it on purpose. He, it's 100%. Like, and he, like it annoys the shit out of me. I know. Like, I the, hate same here, it. dude. It's like obnoxious. So that's why I try to ignore it. Because I mean, like I realize when I used to lose to six a.m. Well, I mean, every once in a while he hasn't taken one in a while. But when I do lose to him sometimes, he um, like I used, I always get super frustrated against him, and then I realize like. I play a lot better when I don't let the stuff he does bother me because I hate taunting, I hate all that shit. So then, like, once I just tried to like keep like a way better mentality, like it just worked pretty well, and I started doing it. But like, uh, I have to I have to get in the habit of doing that with Anthony because like, but it's just I'll go it's just like the little stuff, dude. Also, I started just I stopped trying to shield lasers as much though. I just either like get hit by them or like just jump over them. Like I just. Because like, getting hit by them is way better than shielding them. <laughs> way better. Once CT learns how to deal with lasers, dude, be unstoppable. That's all we need. That's all we need, dude. <laughs> Watch out, Sosa. <laughs> <laughs> we know how to deal with lasers, so fuck your Wario. <laughs> oh my mm. god. Hmm? Falco. Do you think Falco is a good character, or do you share the opinion that he's bad? Anyone that thinks that Falco is a bad character is just wrong. It's just because you haven't played against a good Falco in my opinion. I think Falco is insanely good. He's still, like Shine. Shine exists. I mean, I so <laughs> I say whoever does not watch uh, Silver doesn't understand like he doesn't even it's like, like push Falco far enough to be like crazy. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like if if PM like, like Silver is like really good, but like if we had like let's say like uh, this is something people say all the time. If you take like top Falcos in melee, like like some of like the top fifty Falcos. Uh, and you put them into PM, if they, like, actually play the game, like, people would get more of an idea. Like, I, like people that play Melee can understand, like, if they play both can understand how insanely good Falco is. Falco is disgusting. The only problem is Falco's shield drop dare sucks now. It's like, when people see it, like, the, the, tra the transitions, they only look at the negatives, rather than, like, Rar back air, Dacus, yeah, he has all so this many crazy stuff. And like his down, his his up throw like combos into down air way better. Like it's it's harder to di it. I mean, in my opinion, maybe I'm just maybe I'm just bad. Probably. You know what's crazy? Icy Light pulled out uh, Falco against Kinkoni. And, yeah. And he, like the first set, the first stock of that was crazy. Is, that matchup is brutal. And like a lot of people like are being like especially like Silver set like a very good example in like showing people this past year how good Falco actually is. The fact that like like I mean he would play here a lot, but I feel like he really didn't give as much of a shit still and like he just was destroying people all year long I, i'm like i'm like 90 percent sure he has like motivational problems when it comes to like tournaments and stuff like because i mean it's just his main game is melee though yeah that's true he's he, i think he's done playing the mr actually he'll I, I think he'll play doubles once in a while but <laughs> singles hey but like either way falco very good character yeah. falco's like he's not like he's underrated super good he's not like he's not like He's Meta Knight, Wolf level, but he's definitely like he's got potential to be like a top tier either way. Like if like if people really push the character and like gave a shit, like like if people ever start doing like footstool combos and stuff, like I think that like like Falco's footstool combos are insane. So I can't see the headset, dude. I'm in the middle of the interview. Um, but what's it called? I wanted to ask you actually. Um, you might actually agree with this opinion. Who's the most honest? character in this game? Um, that's tough to say because like whether or not a character is honest is like really really subjective. Um, I don't know I'd have to look at I maybe like Don I think Donkey Kong is very honest. I think Donkey Kong is a very very honest character. If people don't agree with me but I mean like he has to work in neutral. I think it's Donkey Kong. I think I say Fox too dude. No Fox. way. Fox nope. is not. Shine. Get well, out of here. I mean Bye. it's like Bye. It's, it's, it's straightforward. It's, you can't uh, like you, uh, like, you, 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 you can SDI shine right? You could kind of be tricky with it, but at the same time, it's like it's straightforward. It sends you down, right? You know what I mean? Fox it's not honest. It's like it's it's arguable. I mean, Fox like, has to work, but like also Fox like uh, in, Fox in this is game, not nowhere near as honest. He gets as, like, destroyed by like ninety percent of the cast, like Edge Guard was. I mean, but he also dominates in neutral. Like Fox is broken. But look at also, you know, what I just remembered mm -hmm. the last time that you interviewed me. Yeah, was before I was going to compete, and I said that I was going to get the number one ranking in the country. Did you do it? No, I blew it at that meet. Oh. But then I competed again. <laughs> yeah, I blew it. I actually, dude. I was behind the number one ranking by one pound on my total. And I was going to shoot myself. But then I competed again three weeks ago. Got the number one ranking in the country for drug-free. Number one squat, uh, squat in the country drug-free. Second 
ever in my division drug free to hit a 600 pound squat. It's the all time world record. But <laughs> I, so I just fucking good, dude. Good I'm shit, hyped, yeah. my guy. Fucking sick. What's the world record? Uh, 620 pounds. I hit 600. I missed 622 and a half. But in May, I happened. 500. Like hearing you, you got 500 was fucking. And then you just went up 100 pounds like in like two months. <laughs> in, in June, I hit 505, and I got splattered by 520. Mm. And then in September, something clicked. I hit 550, and then I hit 600 fucking four months later. You, like lift, you can lift a half of a car. <laughs> I always tell you, I could, I could squat an actual lion. His <laughs> lions are like four, four and a half, 500 pounds. Oh, my God. One day, I want to be able to like squat a gorilla like 800 pounds. No one man <laughs> should have all that power. <laughs> <laughs> no one man at 165 pounds. <laughs> Good shit today, man. You fucking, yeah. you fucking earned that. The W. Yep. Dude, I, I don't know about earned. you. <laughs> I played near two. <laughs> I don't know about you, dude. I want some Graham Slam. Graham I can slam go for the burger. I feel that, dude. I'll be your burger buddy today, since <laughs> since Garrett's not here. All right. All right. Good night, guys.